Singaporeans living in New York State say that there is little that they can do but stay connected and count their blessings as they ride out the snowstorm. Leisha Rodney with more. For the last nine years, Li Ting has made her home in Buffalo, New York. She and her parents in Singapore close their distance by traveling to see each other every year. But the ongoing blizzard is having the same effect as the COVID-19 pandemic, keeping Li Ting's own family indoors and throwing travel plans into uncertainty for the third year in a row. I have friends who were supposed to fly out last week and their flights are being pushed out to another two weeks now. So if this or our flight out in two weeks is it to get cancelled due to massive flight delays or even just ongoing snowstorms, um, that would be really, really hard for all of us. Uh, especially my dad who really wants to meet his first grandchild. Li Ting's family has been snowed in for five days, thankfully with enough food to get by. But other gloomy clouds are on the horizon. I can work from home because of telehealth, uh, which I'm fortunate enough to be in a healthcare profession where I don't actually have to see my patients in person. But my husband's a chef and his restaurant has had to close for the entire week. So that will financially impact us. This food truck has also been in park. It usually serves about 5,000 handmade dumplings every day, dishing out a variety of Singaporean flavours like sambal chicken, beef rendang and chilli crab. But a driving ban has put the brakes on business for a week. For Christmas, like people wanted to order platters that were already prepaid, and then I had to like cancel because like you know I cannot make it, and it's very dangerous. Nothing, you can't see anything. Windshield vision was just so bad. Jalia has been making use of the downtime to discuss expansion plans with her staff. It's also a way to check in on their well-being during the storm. She plans to reopen her business on Wednesday, saying life must go on.